Good morning, everyone. Bill and Carrie with KB Trucks. Good morning. Where are we at, hon? What's the game plan? We are on the Disney Wonder, but we are about ready to spend our day in Ensenada, Mexico. This is our first time uh, in Ensenada, and uh, here's a look from the uh, uh, port side of the ship. Looks like we backed in. Or maybe we didn't. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I'm not sure how we came in, but uh, this is possibly the biggest flag I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing is gigantic. I mean, look at the size of that flag. Uh, that is, wow, that's gigantic. And as a uh, someone who works as a television professional, just so you know that we're in Mexico, here we go. Where are we headed to, hon? We are going to go head down to deck three and grab some sit-down breakfast at Triton's. Really nice coming up here on the upper deck this early. Like, no one's out yet. Of course, the pools aren't open yet. Oh, man, I just got to turn on the music. Uh, so, what is the, the situation here for our uh, excursion? We are going to a cheese cave today. Okay. So, we have to, we have about 45 minutes before we have to check in. Um, so we'll go check in at 8.45 and then we'll be on our way to eat cheese and drink wine. That's cool. In the mid elevators, when you go down, you can see different artwork. So this is, what is this, like level this five, four or five. And then there's the atrium. And we're going to go in the Triton's for breakfast. Okay, so we're in Tridens and a small group here, not too bad. Uh, you can get a lot of the same stuff here on the menu that you can up at Cabana's, but you don't have to really fight the crowd. Um, but it also would take a little bit longer compared to a buffet. Uh, for breakfast, we had a rush and uh, go check in for our excursion. We'll get more to breakfast in a minute. But now we're going down to... We're going down to the... Not the tender lobby. We're just going down to deck one. <laughs> Which is the tender lobby, but we're yes. going ashore. Yes, because we're docked today. All right, we're following the Paddle of Power. We are Mickey, yellow Mickey today. A beautiful view of the ship at the foot. So for breakfast, uh, learn from us. <laughs> Apparently, you need more than 45 minutes to go to breakfast at Triton's. Yeah, probably if you have an excursion, just go to Cabana's. Yeah, just get it out, unless you have like an hour or so. Yeah. So, we had to rush it. We, I mean, we, we legit got our food like five minutes before we had to eat. I don't even know what my food tasted like. I just inhaled. <laughs> All right, we just went through turnstile thing, whatever, and now we're going to get onto a... Uh, little shuttle bus driving around to the cheese cave kind of going through the countryside here we're heading into the mountains it's gonna take us a little over an hour to get up to the cheese cave it's a nice drive so far depending on the section that we're gonna be going up in Sanada we have different valleys so beautiful like if we go a little bit of north actually this would be the other road it comes out there's some ranches well there's one ranch on this area of this area they do like a from companies or from schools Okay, we made it to the Cheese Ranch or yep. whatever it is. A little over an hour drive. And the first stop they're going to let us do is the restroom. So our tour guide uh, on the drive here, when we pulled in, she said, you're gonna hear lots of birds. She was not kidding. The birds are super active and super loud. All right, break time's over. We're gonna get back on the bus to the next stop. This was just a quick restroom break and just get something to drink. All right, that was our excursion. We're on our way back to the cruise ship. <laughs> no, this was only the first stop, honey. Oh. Remember, you still have to eat some cheese. Cheese. <laughs> we just drove up a couple blocks from where we were to our first stop. Uh, I guess we're going to learn all about cows. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to tell you about the ranch history. And then we're going to divide the, two, uh, the, the groups. One group is going to stay with me and the other group it's going to go to the uh, eight cheese processing, and then we're going to switch, okay? And then we're all going to meet at the ice cream, okay? That's all there be cheese. With the breed of these cows, this breed, this breed is called Holstein. 
is a hosting bull, like a, a cows. Um, they were from Germany. They, uh, they the Germans uh, brought it to America. Now we're walking into the next building. In the morning when we come in, uh, the first thing we do, we take the layer that's on top of the milk, the screen, we take that layer out uh, and save it so they can make uh, butter every Monday, so they collect every day's in it. And after that, we put a heat up water in a small tank like that for the cheese making. Uh, after that, we start the milking, and uh, when we're done, we put the hot water in the double oil tank. The milk needs to be around 80 degrees, so we can use this uh, liquid. <laughs> right now, when the wet, uh, not right now, but when the weather's hot, you can't leave the cheese in here in this room for more than three hours. When the cheese is much in the turn of the balloon, the turn that big, but it took uh, three, three of those buckets full of cheese to fill up the whole shoe. So, this is what they use to uh, press cheese into molds in these cylinder shapes. Um, they're just like a couple of inches tall and kind of the same process, but these are much bigger wheels. Uh, they say they have about 90 cows on property that have been bred from cows from the U.S. and Germany and here in Mexico. Now we're going to go get some ice cream, I believe. Our next stop. This building's right next door to where we were for the cheese and for the cows. And our guide is scooping up some uh, ice cream for us. And there's our ice cream sample. Yep. Have you tried it yet? No, I have not. Oh, I'll give it a taste. I wanted to take a photo of it first. What do you think? I think it's fantastic. It's coconut. It's coconut. I love yeah. coconut. Okay, well, you can make mine. Well, well, I, may, I may take you up on it, but let me finish my own first. Fine. They're giving us the option to take our shuttle bus back to the building that we're at originally or we can walk and carry elected to i elected to walk hey it's a gorgeous day out well she also saw some cats and dogs and she wanted to see if she could pet them too on the on the walk yeah no i couldn't pet any puppies or kitties but there's moo cows up ahead so maybe i can pet them it is very nice out here beautiful, beautiful. so quiet he was looking for, for a prototype of uh, cheese cellar here in Mexico, in, a, in this me in Mexico, but there wasn't any. Yay, we're finally going to go get cheese. 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 <laughs> going to go into the cheese cellar. <laughs> oh, yep, cheese cellar, yes. There you go. It's very cool in here, cool and humid. Year 2006-2008. Here is the construction. And while this was happening, Marcelo was working not on the construction. He was working on the first presentation of the cheeses. This is what I was telling you about the experience. We're gonna sit on a table. There's gonna here is a cheese platter with the seven cheeses out of eleven. These are the first seven. We're gonna go down and get our cheese on. Got all these nice uh, plates set up for us. Okay, farmer cheese, basil, black pepper, rosemary. Butter, agostini. Six months, one year, two years. This is a fig spread for the butter, or for the bread. Gonna try the farmers first. All right, what did you think of the farmers? The farmers cheese was fantastic. Kind of reminds me of a cheese curd. Yeah, it does kind of, yeah, yeah. Without the sweetness. Without the sweetness. <laughs> Gonna try the second one, I think it's the basil. All right, the basil on the second one. That one is very good too. It's nice and creamy. Yeah, I like that. It. It's a very soft cheese. Yep. Third cheese here. I think it's cracked pepper. 
All right, the third cheese, the cracked pepper. Cracked pepper. Very good, very creamy. Also, just a very subtle yeah. black pepper, but it's really good. Yeah, it's, a, it's a harder cheese than the second one. Yeah. Okay, this one is a rosemary. What do you think of the rosemary? Uh, again, for being rosemary, rosemary, very subtle, rosemary, uh, huh? very good. I mean, are any of cheese? Are any of these going to be bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try this next one. This is a fairly fresh one. These next three are the same cheese, but different things. So this one's current, one year, and two year. All right, what do you think of the fresh one? Very good. Yeah? Yep, yep. Uh, it's, it's soft. It's soft, yeah. Next one here is aged one year, I think, is what he said. What do you think of the one year aged yeah. one? The one year aged one is good. You can definitely tell yeah. the aging on it, though, that's for sure. Yeah, it's got a slight um, different flavor yeah. to it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I would probably And there's also a little um, super spicy. harder. <laughs> yeah. This next one is the two year aged one. All right, what do you think of the two year aged one? Uh, that is not my thing. <laughs> it's oh, really? a little too aged for oh. me. I like it better than the one year. Oh, okay. Uh, but not as much as the fresh. Yeah. And he also gave us um, some red wine that uh, is local for us to try too. And the middle one here is a buttered what? Ricotta. Buttered ricotta. Okay. And then what do you think of the buttered ricotta? It's really good. They actually have a homemade fig spread that is a you know, secret family recipe. They said to put the fig spread on top, and it's really good with that as well. Really good with the fig spread. Really good. Okay, with the I haven't fig tried spread. that yet. Um, I broke the chair. <laughs> Whoopsie. They're gonna let us walk through the cheese cellar, uh, the cheese cave, and you can see all the cheese that they're letting age in here. It's really humid. Well, this is where a lot of their flavors of cheese are just hanging out to get aged. They have to keep it at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and a lot of moisture and dark. They leave the lights off in here all the time, except for when people are trying to get around. Mm, cheese. No, no touchy. Cheese. No touchy. But just watch him for his new group last night. No touchy. Cheese. No. It's one of the rules. No touchy. Cheese. Stop. Whoa, no touchy. No touchy. No touch. Veraniega beer is summertime beer. Summertime. Summery. It's a blonde beer with the alcohol of 4.7. The flavor is citrus flavor. And we're going to have these two cheeses. Black olive, sun-dried tomato. Okay? We have the second beer. It's called Perro del Mar. Perro del Mar means dark by the ocean. Ocean dark. Dark by the sea. Dark by the sand. Ocean sand. What else? <laughs> okay, we have this. Uh, this is a more more intense flavor. It's a darker color. The flavor is grapefruit or passion fruit. The alcohol is 7.0. That's why I'm not gonna give you beer. <laughs> and like 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 Maggie, no beer for Maggie. And then we have the spicy the spicy cheeses, jalapeno and chiltepin. Chiltepin is hot pepper. Okay. Oh, over here are the really aged cheeses. You can uh, definitely tell they look a lot different than the other ones that have not been here nearly as long. And um, they say they kind of have a crust on them that they remove and clean off. These are all edible, even though they might not look like it. As we go in here, we're going to have grab one of these boards with these cheeses on it and two beer samples. We're going to go upstairs and they're going to feed us some lunch. This is one of their shops where you can buy some of their cheeses and other memorabilia type stuff. Looks like they got some jams and things too. And we're back outside where they're going to feed us some lunch. I'm going to make my way over this way to try to find Carrie. And I got some table settings. There they are. Cheese. Oh, yeah, More cheese. Beer. <laughs> cheese. Cheese and beer. Where's the beer soup? Plate. Beer cheese soup. Black olive. Sun dried tomato. Oh, this is the They're supposed to be with this beer. Okay. And then this is jalapeno. Jalapeno. And then this is the really, really hot pepper. 
You're supposed to taste with the other beer. You're supposed to taste with the other beer. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try the which one's this again? That's black olive. Black olive. All right, what do you think of black olive? Mm, very good. Yeah. Very yummy. You taste the black olive? Mm-hmm. Second one here is what now? Sun dried tomato. Sun dried tomato. tomato. What you think of the sun dried tomato? Very good. Also very yummy. Mm -hmm. It's actually also making me appreciate the beer a little more when I don't like beer, but okay. it's drinkable with the cheese. Mm -hmm. One here, jalapeno. jalapeno. <laughs> How do you like the jalapeno? I think this is dark. Well, I'm not tasting any jalapeno yet. Give it a second. I think it's good. This one is that other pepper. Oh, there's the spice on that one. <laughs> Delayed fuse, huh? Yup. That one's got some heat behind it. It's still good, though. Mm. Here they just gave us some uh, food. Looks like arugula, um, cheese quesadilla, uh, some tomatoes, and this looks like a mushroom with cheese on it. it smells good. For lunch, Perry ordered herself um, some sangria, right? Yes, it's very light. And I got myself a mojito. Mojito. Hey, there she is. Uh -huh. What are you doing over here? I wanted to take a look at the llamas before we left. There's llamas. Yeah. Yeah, check out the llamas. What? A llama? Hi there. How you doing? You have to ask for permission to take this photo. Yeah. You have to ask for permission to take his photo? Yeah. Are you okay with us taking your photo? You're not going to spit on us. Really didn't take uh, the time before to notice this, but just a beautiful view out here with the rolling hills and everything and the cows in the foreground. Just a very nice place out here. Birds chirping, singing. And we just left. We're on our way back to the cruise ship. It'll be about another hour plus drive to get back to port. <laughs> She's so excited. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hello. We just got back from our uh, excursion. Hi, I'm sorry. At our airport. Oh, you're interrupting him. Big seal or sea lion? So I think this is a sea lion, but it's hard to tell with because he's I, I think he's a sea lion because seals are pretty small. Yeah, he looks you know. like a sea lion. Wow. We're really up close. And he doesn't care. You're all giddy. I am because I love sea lions. <laughs> and then we're gonna go through port with security. I probably have to turn off my camera. Got through the one security at port easily. We still gotta go through security to get onto the ship. Just getting back on the ship from our stop in Ensenada. Actually, it wasn't Ensenada. We were like an hour or so away. Yep. What was the name of our excursion? Our excursion was the Cheese Cave. I'm sure it was probably a little more uh, to that, but that was basically what it was, the Cheese Cave. Okay, and what did you think, Hi. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Yeah. I just thought it, was, it had a lot of variety to it. I liked the tour of the farm and the cheese and the ice cream. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly would say it's probably one of my favorite excursions we've really? done through DCL. Yeah. Okay. That's yep. awesome. Yeah. No, I, I, I enjoyed it too. I don't know if it was my favorite or not. I have to think about it for a little bit, but... Uh, I said I, one of my favorites. Well, okay. I, one of, <laughs> I have to think about it. What else we've done? It's We've been on 11 of these now, so cruises. Uh, but uh, it was fun. What are the details? Uh, so is $85 for adults. I'm not sure what it was for kids, but I mean, that included lunch. It included all those cheese samples. We each got some wine. We got some beer. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, really, it was it was a good day. Yeah, our excursion was about five to five and a half hours because we had an hour plus drive one way uh, to get there and on the way back. Um, but uh, will we do it again? I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. But um, please do us a favor and subscribe. About 90% of our viewers are not subscribers, so please help us with the channel grow. Uh, help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers and also help, help flip that number. But uh, we want to thank you for joining us. I'm Bill. I'm Carrie. You watch KB Trucks. Please do us a favor, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Until then, good luck and have fun. See ya.